G'day, g'day. Now, as a recreational angler, one of my concerns about the proposed Traverson Dam is what's going to happen to the fish. So it's okay to say you're going to put fishways in, but the problem is a lot of them don't work. Let's go and talk to one of our acknowledged freshwater experts, Gary Fitzgerald, to give you his take on blocking our native waterways and what it does to the fish stocks. Well, I'm here on Lockyer Creek, which is a tributary of the uh, Upper Brisbane River downstream from Wyvernhoe Dam. And you can see here, I'm sitting on top of a weir. This is called O'Reilly's Weir. And when, uh, of course, when we've got a flow in the river, water comes rushing over here, and all the fish is part of their natural instinct is to come upstream. But they come up here when water's running over, and they can't get any further, and they get stuck here. And of course, when the water stops flowing, and there's no water going down the fish ladder at all, the fish get stuck here, and they slowly run out of oxygen as the pool heats up, and uh, of course they're going to be in trouble. So it's, you can see that it's really not a great thing to go dumping you know, thousands of tonnes of rock and concrete across a perfectly good creek. You can see what happens here. We're, in, we're playing God and we're interrupting the natural life cycle of a lot of our fish species. Now when they came and made all of these weirs all across Australia, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. They thought that uh, Australian native fish were like the, the salmonoids, the trout that are in North America and Europe. And they thought, uh, okay, we'll, we'll do the right thing and we'll put a fish ladder in. Now those salmonoid species are able to jump clean out of the water. We've all seen documentaries of them on TV, leaping over waterfalls and things like that. Australian native fish just aren't that good. So as you can see, this fish ladder here, with all good intentions, is just no good uh, for Australian native fish. Now they've done some research and they've found, as opposed to a ladder style system, they can do a vertical slot fishway, which instead of making the fish go up and over, it just creates whirlpools and they can go from pool to pool and work their way up through from the bottom side of the river to the top side of, of these uh, man-made barriers. Now what is desperately needed is all of these weirs that we have here to be retrofitted and fixed so that our Australian native species can again uh, have their, their fish breeding cycle uninterrupted. Now some of the fish species that are found in the Brisbane River uh, naturally here, uh, there's the Australian bass, the spangle perch, and uh, of course there's, there's a couple of species of mullet, and of course tarpon. Now there's some other stock fish here as well, so there's silver perch, there's golden perch, and the uh, endangered, highly endangered lungfish has been introduced here about 1900, and um, there's a stack of them in this pool here at the moment, and uh, you know, they're, they're really in stress. So the fish we've seen here so far, without moving um, today, we've seen lungfish, uh, we, we saw a Saratoga, uh, we've seen plenty of bass and we've seen plenty of mullet as well. So they're all stuck in this little pool and as this dries up, all these fish are going to be in a little bit of trouble. Now it's all well and good to put a fish ladder on a uh, barrier across a creek or a river. But I guess the other thing is, if there's no water flowing through it, it's, it's no good to anyone at all, particularly the fish. Now, I guess government departments, whoever they are, whether it's local or state or federal government, if they're going to put a, a, a weir or a dam across a waterway, they need to also guarantee environmental flows so that if they do put a fish ladder on, there's water flowing through it, particularly in the peak breeding season when, uh, when our bass and our cods and all that sort of stuff, when they're trying to migrate up and downstream as part of their breeding cycle, they should have a guaranteed flow through these fishways so that uh, the fish can do what they need to do. Otherwise, the whole idea of, of putting one in is wasted. Now, isn't it amazing? You just, uh, these fish stuck in this pond and you just sit there and he's, uh, give me a bit of stick, this guy, I don't know what it is, but uh, you cast a couple of lures around and um, there you go. There's a yellow belly that just came out of that weed. And again, the fish get stuck here, there's no food, they're absolutely starving. And um, really, uh, it can be a fisher throw at times when you uh, come and fish in these places. So that's why they need to do something about, uh, there's, there's absolutely hundreds of weirs like this around the country. And, and what they do is just say it's a no fishing zone. This, th in this case, it's not a no fishing zone. So it's, I'm perfectly allowed to uh, come here and have a fish. But instead of making the no fishing zone, what they need to do 
is fix the things, pure and simple. Nice uh, yellow belly. Now these uh, aren't native to the, uh, the Brisbane catchment or Lockyer Creek, these are stocked fish and again part of their natural life cycle is um, they wanted to get up this creek when it was flowing not long ago and uh, they can't get past this weir so what I'm going to do I'm going to unhook this guy and let him go on the top side of the weir so he's going to be nice and happy takes a bit of the pressure off this hole here every fish we can get out of it now and uh, we should hopefully end up with a few less dead fish About as good as I can get at the moment, but it's uh, it's it's definitely better for the fish, and he's got a lot more water to be able to swim around in now. Happy days. You really got to feel sorry for these tortoises or turtles that get caught in in these water holes as well. Um, they struggle to get out up through, through the sheer concrete banks. And of course, uh, they get stuck in here as well. You know, these water holes eventually dry up if there's no flow, and uh, we end up with uh, more more dead animals again. Now, as you can see, in the short time that we've been here, uh, we've seen a few fish. You can see the situation that this uh, particular creek and this weir is in. Now, there's hundreds and hundreds of these across Australia. So, here's a real big hurry up to the Australian governments, both state and federal get rid of the weirs we don't need, fix the ones that are there, and think about the ones you're gonna do in the future.